So I've done multiple videos on this game now, and this is probably my final one, at least for the time being. I want to see an update come out where it's actually got substantial fixes in there. Because Forza Motorsport 2023 recently had an update, and it was the 1.0 update, or that's what they said it was in the patch notes. They put the patch out, they fixed various crashes, so on and so forth. But the one thing they didn't fix is the thing that I mentioned before the game even released for everyone to play, like through Game Pass, without having to spend extra money... And that is the fact that when you go to upgrade or purchase a new car for certain races, the game can put you into an infinite loading screen and essentially crash. And because it's an always online game, when you restart the game, so like you close, you go to your dashboard, you quit out of it, you relaunch the game, you're either going to lose race progress or it can entirely corrupt your data. Well, that wasn't an issue for the first few races of the game for me. I was given the game praise, but I'm back to tell you that this is unacceptable because after the update, this issue has still not been fixed and I've now experienced it. So while the game is fantastic, I'm not changing my mind on that. I really, really enjoy the gameplay. This stupid bug is unacceptable and it needs fixing. I'm going to say immediately the devs need to pull their finger out and get this fixed because... As far as I'm aware, like based on reading through the comments on the patch notes, like basically the Twitter thread, there are a lot of other problems in the game and apparently multiplayer is in a really, really bad spot. So I was sitting there and I'm doing my warm up, I'm doing my practice for Homestead Miami Speedway, which is in like the first cup or first series or whatever that you race in. I've got my little Volkswagen, I'm driving around doing my practice, fine. Go into the main race, I'm leveling up. I started off at car level 11, ended the race on car level 14. I was happy with that. I go through to continue the series. I go to upgrade my car, do quick upgrades, and boom, it gets stuck on applying upgrades. And I sat there for maybe two or three minutes. It did absolutely nothing. It was infinite loading. So I close out of the game. I quit completely on my dashboard, load it back up. I've still got my car level. It's still 14. I've still got the credits I earned from the race, but the race progress itself has reset. So I've got to do the race again. So I start up the race this time. As soon as I get into the practice, I pause it. I skip the practice because I don't want to do it again. And the XP has stayed on my account. So it's not going to be that beneficial for me to do the practice. I know I can win the race with my difficulty and stuff. So I just slap myself into 24th on the grid. I go and I start the race. And bearing in mind, this is about a minute and a half's worth of a lap. Well, like roughly one minute, 40 seconds of a lap. And there are five laps in this race. So I sit through the five laps. Bearing in mind, I've previously done eight laps of this already because I had to do the first practice in the first race. So this is moving up to having to do 13 laps on this track when realistically I should only have to do eight if I wanted to do the first practice. Like the least amount of laps you have to do on this track, at least in this series, is five. But at the very start of this second attempt, I'm on lap nine. So I go through, I do that, completely the race that's 13 laps of this stupid fucking racetrack done and then i'm i think i'm car level 17 after the race so the first race go up three levels second race go up three levels again fantastic i'm making progress on my car and then i come to the upgrade screen having leveled up and earned some points for upgrading i slap them onto my car i go to do the quick upgrade and boom happens again but this time I sit around for a solid five minutes and this does not leave the applying upgrade screen. It's okay when I restart the game, the upgrades apply then. It's just after this race, I cannot apply the upgrades. And I want to, like my personal experience on this game, I want to use my upgrade points before I go into the next race. And I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to progress to the next race without applying upgrades, but I would like to apply them and I can't. I'm stuck in this stupid fucking loop of where I finish a race, I go to apply upgrades on my car, and it just freezes. It's an infinite loading screen, whatever you want to call it. I have to restart the game, and I'm stuck on the same race. Unless I try to skip the upgrades, which I'm not willing to do. I'm not going back on the game to do another five laps of that track. If I was willing to do it, I would have to try and make progress through the series to the final race without applying any upgrades. So my car's going to be the same. I'm not going to make any progress. And who knows, it might happen after every single race. But not only that, another reason I won't do it is not just, oh, you can't be asked to do the race again. There is a risk of this entirely corrupting your data. And granted, I've not put a lot of time into this game. 
but I don't want to lose any progress because the developers don't know what they're doing. And I don't want to lose any progress on the game any more than I've already lost due to the fact that they won't pay attention to the fucking community and get this problem fixed. I am absolutely done with Forza Motorsport 2023 for the time being. I'm going to keep an eye on it. If they release an update and they state in the patch notes that they've properly fixed this, I'll come back to it because I do enjoy the gameplay. But if not, then Turn 10, Microsoft or Xbox Game Studios, whatever they want to call themselves, they can get fucked. I don't care. I'm not having a game wiping my progress for me trying to make progress in the game. Simply applying upgrades to my car doesn't work at the end of a race and I'm not risking my data being corrupted and having to start the whole thing all over again. No matter how much time I put into this title, I know there's people out there that have put quite a bit of time in and then lost every everything all because these devs won't fix the bug they're ignoring the community it's been like everyone's been really loud about it but they've done nothing about it and as stated by the title whether it's a free-to-play game or you've got to pay the biggest amount of money for it this shit is unacceptable and on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.